Stampers, Deb Valder here, your fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I want to show you how to do a beautiful technique called Silhouette Shading. And what we use is just very simple tools, black licorice ink, some clear embossing powder, and some of our Journey Gesso. I love it. So these are the two cards we're going to be working on today, and let's get started. I am going to bring in my grid paper here, and... We're going to bring in, um, I think I'll do the flower card first. Um, both of them are super, super simple. And let me just grab my my card that I'm going to work on. All right, so this is our river stone, and I'm going to bring in black licorice ink, and I'm going to bring in my flower. And the flower comes from a set called Dear Rose. It also has some beautiful sayings to go along with it. Beautiful, beautiful set. I like to mount these um, together so that there's less um, hassle as far as the stamping goes and whatnot. And if you're going to do multiple cards like I always do, I um, like to just have them all mounted together. It just makes it so much easier. All right, so I'm going to take my black licorice ink and I'm going to ink up the stamp. And you want to have your embossing powder and your tray ready because when you stamp this down, you want to put the powder on right away. The new stamps or the new, um, some of the new additions to the new catalog um, have the shading already in it and this lends this technique to it perfectly. So I'm just lining this up onto my cardstock and stamp it down. Now let's throw the powder on. All right, and I'm going to set that one aside to dry, and I'm going to I'm going to take and um, powder them all at the same time. Or I'm sorry, I'm going to emboss them all at the same time. All righty, let me just throw a little bit more on there. These are very detailed um, outline stamps. So you want to make sure that you've got some powder on there. So okay, so they're all set and ready to be um, heat, heated. All right, let me just grab the other one, which is my girl right here, and she is absolutely beautiful. She comes from a stamp set called Dance Life, and um, it's got some beautiful sayings in here. It's got some beautiful fonts, which I absolutely love, and it's also got two beautiful girls in there. And um, the other set that I used was the um, um, decorative doily, and that was an old bloom an old bloom box. You will be able to purchase this very shortly, and I'm just using the word thinking of you on there. All right. So those are the stamp sets that I'm using for this card. Now um, let me just whoops. Let me just grab the stamp. And ink it up with our black licorice ink again. And again, I put the words on there because it just makes um, fast stamping and stamping. Because I do a lot um, of cards at, at one time, you guys know that. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I had um, everything mounted. It just goes a lot faster. All right. And I did this one in my club, and they just loved, loved this girl. All right, she's got some shading already going on. It's just a very simple card. All right, so now I've got the powder on everything. I need to just heat it now. Let me bring back in my other my other um, stamped image, and I'm just going to take and heat them. But if you have paper that curls when you're heating it, if you go from underneath like this, it'll flatten back out again. All right. So if you have um, when you're when you're uh, embossing, if you've got paper like I said that has curled edges, these aren't too bad. But you know, there's sometimes when they do curl, or even when you're doing watercoloring, if you just put your heat gun underneath, it flattens it all out. Isn't that really isn't that really cool? Just another little tip from me because I'm always giving you tips. All right, so now we have both of these that are um, colored, or I'm sorry, embossed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Journey Gesso and we are going to start coloring. So Journey Gesso is used by artists, and there's many, many, many reasons why you would use gesso. But for this technique right here, we're going to actually color with it. And why wouldn't I use my reinkers? Because gesso sits on the top of the paper and it just comes up so much whiter. I love it. Okay, and I do put saran wrap in the middle of it. Um, so that it does stay fresher longer. It doesn't dry out. Um, you just don't want it to dry out because then it's not going to be any good. All right, so I'm going to take my spatula. I'm going to take an old block 
and I'm just going to lift up a little bit of this, and you really don't need a lot. Watch. This is even going to be way too much. So I'm going to take and um, put the, some a little bit over here on the side, and I'll show you why. Um, this is... This is the part that we're going to color with, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that little piece right there. Now I put my saran wrap back on there, and I put my top back on, and we are good to go. All right? Make sure you put that top on right away because it does dry out. All righty? So now what we're going to do is to take one of our journey brushes, and I do like this one, but before I do that, I have to um, add some water. So these are our medium misters, and um, I am just going to add some water and with my spatula I'm just going to mix it all around all right there we go we want it to be nice and soupy okay so there's our um, there is our gesso and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start coloring let's start with her and all I want to do is if you notice that it looks like the light is coming in here all right, so that's why I call it silhouette shading. And I'm just gonna take an, and just run a line down her arm, let's see, um, underneath her neck, and basically I'm just going right along the side. These um, journey brushes are awesome because they're stiff, but not too stiff, and they lend themselves so nicely to this little technique right here. So this one just happens to be the round one. We have a whole collection of them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it right down the leg. Now you can do this with any outline stamp. Um, and like I said, it's just a fast way to color. And look at how beautiful that was. And it took no time at all. Now remember I told you I left a little bit um, out on the side and that was full strength. And that's so that I can just add a few little highlights um, along the way. So you don't want to recolor it. You don't want that solid line. Okay? We just want to have just a few little pieces that are just kind of stand out a little bit more than the regular just go down the leg kind of thing. All right, so there's that. How fast was that? Stick on your um, image, put some clear embossing powder on it, heat it, and then um, just uh, slather on some of this. Now watch how fast this one is. You think, oh my goodness, I can't do all that coloring. Oh yes, you can. Look at, here we go, watch this. I'm just literally going to where there is no, um, where there's just no um, already shaded areas, all right? And it's just making this pop so much. And what I like about these brushes is that there's a little bit less on the end, so it, it, it really just takes in, um, it just adds the, uh, dimension to it as, as it goes along. Um, and what I mean by that is it's darker on one side than the other, but the brush is actually doing that for me. You see? And I'm just, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And as it gets to the point where it's just popping. It's just absolutely popping. Now remember, I'm going to go ahead and get some, my brush is getting a little bit dry, so I picked up some water. I'm going to pick up some full strength, and I'm just going to go back, and in just certain spots, I'm going to add a little bit of, a little bit more highlighting. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the difference. Look at the dimension. And look at how fast this is. So I have six cards ready to go. I'm going to take and I'm going to gesso them up. I'm going to I'm going to send them out. They're just so pretty. And if you leave either the, the card blank or put a generic saying on it like this, I mean, you can use this for anything. All right, you can use it for a birthday. Even though it says hello, you can use it for a birthday and just write a nice little birthday message on the inside of it. All right, and I'm just kind of playing. I, I don't even really need to add anything else. See? These brushes are amazing. These are our, this is the half inch round brush. I love it. I absolutely love it. And then you're going to want to go in and uh, clean off your brushes quite, quite, a, quite quickly, I should say. All right. So then all I need to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water here and I'm just going to clean my brush off a little bit. All right. So that is all there is to this and the only thing I have left is to add it to my layers and do a couple of little embellishments. So let's add the girl first because um, I've had her out for a while. Okay, and add some of my Easy Glide. I love Easy Glide, okay. And when you're using Easy Glide, you want to make sure that you um, 
you want to make sure that you um, go very lightly with it, okay? All right, so now what I want to show you about this card right here is that I did a little bit as different. I, I did a little bit different um, as far as my my cutting my layers. All right. Whoops. I don't have. Whoop, I don't have any. Couldn't understand why that was standing up on the end. Um, I have layers that are cut just a little bit different. Let me just lay this down and show you what I mean by that. So you can actually change the the appearance of a card just by the way you layer it or color it. So sometimes I'll take and I'll make the. Um, inside piece a lot smaller than the base card. But for this one, what I did was I added what looks like a panel right in the middle of the card base. So here's the card base, and what I did was I added um, a, a piece of cardstock that went literally from the top to the bottom, and then I did my grading in here. As opposed to this one, where I have an outline, even outline, all the way around. So change up your, your cutting sizes, okay? Um, it just makes a world of difference. All right, now I'm going to bring in the one for the hello and um, just add my layers to this one also. All right, and because this one was embossed, I'm going to put a little bit more than I normally would on here as far as my Easy Glide goes. Let's, let's move that up just a tad bit. There we go. Alrighty, so that is our card. Now we need to embellish it. What's a card without embellishments? Alright, so on this card right here, all I did was use some very simple pearls to go along with the just black and white theme. Um, and on this card right here, what I did was I used a disc made out of our um, foil paper. This is our new Journey foil paper. It is, or I'm sorry, mirror paper. This is the silver. I've been using the gold quite a bit. And I'm going to bring in one of my punches. This happens to be the one inch punch. And I'm just going to punch a flower, or I'm sorry, a circle. Okay. And then I'm going to add one of our brand new flowers right here. Okay. And um, these are our paper flowers. They are absolutely gorgeous. They do have some um, leaves to go along with them, but keeping in the theme of the black or the black and the gray and the white, I'm going to keep the leaves off and I'm just going to add these to this. All right. So um, I'm going to take some of my uh, Journey Craft Glue and add that to the back end of this and just stick that on there. And I'm going to add, you know, every glue has a purpose and I just think that this is going to hold so much better. All right, so still not done. What is a card without our new sparkle silk? So I'm going to take and I'm just going to color my whole flower with the sparkle silk. It looks just gorgeous. All right, let's add some more right here. My Journey Craft glue is not dry yet. So I'm sliding. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to add to that some uh, a pearl right in the middle. Now, let me just tell you that um, with the pearls um, in this, I am actually going to um, put some Journey Craft glue in the middle because that's still wet. I could add the pearl afterward, but um, well, after that's dried, but I, I just want to take and add the, the pearl now to show you how it looks when it's all finished. And um, I need my bloom tool here. I'm going to use a medium pearl, I think, and just add it. Now I think I'll use the big one and add it right to the middle of this. All right. So there we go. All righty. So that's that card right there. Now for my um, for my little flower, on the first one I used a pearl, I used pearls, but on this one I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my new pearls that are silver. You know, we have the silver, we have the gold, um, and I'm just going to use this, the, uh, the silver ones. They are absolutely precious. So pretty um, and so elegant. So I'm going to take the big one. I'm just going to make a little row, just like I did there, just to offset my hello. And I'm going to take this size 
and then this size, and you guessed it, there's four different sizes. There's 120 of these. On this card right here, there's 120 of these. Aren't they awesome? Look at Oh my gosh, this company has the best as far as embellishments and colors and on-trend um, designs. Look at these. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? These are two cards, basically the same, but look so different just from the embellishment alone. Um, I just love both of them. And the same with this one right here. Okay, I have this card. I have one that I did with pearls. And then I also have one that I did where I just stamped it and um, used my... Um, my pastels, my pan pastels. I added a little bit of a flower, some pearls, and our new white ribbon. It's absolutely gorgeous. I hope you liked my post for today. If you have any questions, you let me know. Um, I'm here to help. I'm here to help um, anything with anything that you need. You take care. Have a great day, and thank you for stopping by.